There are many different themes that are um, very clear within the giving tree. One of the major themes is friendship. Um, the tree really gave everything that she had to the little boy because she loved him. She was very generous, and the boy didn't really show a lot of gratitude. So we can always uh, think about how much we give to our friends, but we also need to think about how much we are receiving in return. So some sort of an assignment that I think I would like for the class to do is to write in a journal about how much their parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, somebody who really gives a lot to you and makes a lot of sacrifices to you. And maybe write them a thank you note based on things that they do for you. It's important when you love someone to make sure to thank them for all the things that you do for them and not take them for granted and not keep taking stuff from them. So the overall theme, which we have been talking about in class, is today I'm going to read you The Giving Tree. It was one of my favorite books when I was little. Once there was a tree, and she loved a little boy. And every day the boy would come, and he would gather her leaves and make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk and swing from her branches and eat apples, and they would play hide-and-go-seek. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree very much, and the tree was happy. But time went by, and the boy grew older, and the tree was often alone. Then one day, the boy came to the tree, and the tree said, Come, boy, come, and climb up my trunk, and swing from my branches, and eat apples, and play in my shade, and be happy. I am too big to climb and play, the boy said. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree. But I have no money. I only have leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you'll be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time, and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back, and the tree shook with joy. And she said, Come, boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I am too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I and want a wife and I want children, so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, said the tree, but you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house, and the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time, and when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered. Come and play. I am too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I am sorry, boy, said the tree. But I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I am too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I am too tired to climb, said the boy. I am sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I am sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree, 
straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The End